Hey, today I want to talk about how to put or add native ads onto your WordPress website. And uh, this is super important because it's a great way to make some uh, extra income by placing these uh, throughout your WordPress website. Uh, what are native ads? Well, native ads are uh, ads that are uh, embedded within content, and so they look like it's just um, you know part of the content. If we go look at some examples here, all the big websites use them. Here we are on CNN.com. Uh, it's a health-related article about sleeping. And if we scroll down, you know, you have the typical banner ads that you see. But as you continue to scroll down, and these are native ads typically are placed towards the bottom, you'll see these are native ads. And so they're just kind of placed in here like, uh, you know, that they're associated uh, with this uh, article and uh, they usually have some type of uh, clickbait, clickbait uh, type of image and um, tagline that would make you want to click them. Okay, so these are all examples of native ads on CNN. Here we are on Huffington Post. Um, again, got the big banner ad on top. Here's a political article, and if you scroll down again, you know you're going to see banner ads throughout. But as you get to the bottom, you'll see, okay, some related articles. And as you keep scrolling down, now you see these are actually, um, you know, ads down here, okay? And these are definitely ads down here, okay? Now, the thing is, most of these websites, you know, they do label these as ads, right? So if you go back to CNN, you know, you can see, you know, it says paid content. Um, and so... Uh, people, most people know that this is, but although, depending on where the ads are coming from, it may just look like, you know, you're going to another website, which in some cases that is how the ad works. But in some of these, um, you're not necessarily sure where you're going. Now, obviously, again, you have kind of very clickbank, clickbait type of ads, you know, that um, grab your attention, um, the sayings grab your attention, etc., and so the whole idea is to try to click on those. Now, the websites, CNN, Huffington Post, etc., that use these type of native ads, you know, they make a few pennies every time somebody clicks through. Now, this isn't just for news websites. You know, here we are on ESPN. You know, this is their top story today. Again, if you scroll down, you can see the banner ads. Most people are familiar with those. But as you get towards, again, the end of the article, that's where the paid ads come up. Now, there are... These, uh, like Taboola, you see, uh, these ads are sponsored by Taboola. If we go back to CNN, these are uh, ads by Outbrain. Okay, and so those are some of the big uh, native ads. But I'm going to show you a plugin today where you can add the same type of native ad content to your site without um, needing to join a service like Taboola, Outbrain, or any of those types. And also, you can direct this traffic wherever you want it to go, so you're not just relegated to making, you know, a penny or a, por a portion of a fraction of a penny per click. You can actually make some really good money because you can send the traffic wherever you want it to go. So, now that we know what native ads are and what their purpose is, how can you put them on your site? Let me go to one of my sites. This is a uh, clean eating niche WordPress website. It's an auto blog. You can see my other videos where I talk about how to make these type of sites. <clears throat> so new content is being automatically added uh, to this blog on a regular basis. So I'm not actually adding the content. So it's, it's just being added automatically. And again, you know, I do have a banner ad here. This is a link to uh, an email opt-in. But right here where it says recommended, these are native ads that I have put onto my site. So you can see some of them in the right sidebar. Again, a banner ad. But if we click on any of these articles, what we're going to do is we're going to open up. You're going to see the content. People will read it. Uh, banner ad, obviously. But as you scroll down, you see more native ads. And again, these are meant to, you know, catch your eye, right? Um, be a little mysterious. Usually ask a question or make a claim. And then if... Um, People click on it. So let's say somebody clicks on, uh, well, I don't know, maybe they're interested in yoga, right? They're here for health and fitness. So they click on this and it takes them to this ClickBank product called Yoga Burn. Now, Yoga Burn, it has an average uh, payout 
uh, that's pretty good. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, so here in my ClickBank account, I'm in the uh, marketplace. Let's search for this Yoga Burn product. And you can see Yoga Burn has an average commission payout per conversion per sale of almost $150. So would you rather be getting ads from SmartFeed, Outbrain, or Taboola, where if somebody clicks on it, you're going to earn a fraction of a penny or maybe a couple of pennies? Or would you rather have a uh, native ad that when people click on it is going to take them to a product sales page that is high converting and pays out? You can see this product, Yoga Burn, it has a gravity of 25. Uh, you know, the higher the gravity in ClickBank, the more popular it is, which also means the more competition. Um, usually a gravity between 25 and 50 is kind of a nice uh, or sorry, 20 and 50 is kind of a nice sweet spot, but you'll find there's products in here right now. One of the hot products on ClickBank is Java Burn. You'll see it's got a gravity of 574. Um, it makes $117 per sale on average. Another hot product right now on ClickBank is Exapure. Look at that, gravity over 1,000, <laughs> 1,250. That's super high. Again, uh, about $150 per conversion. And so you could create a health and fitness type of website similar to this clean eating website, or you know, you could make it really almost whatever you want. And then you could add, uh, create these native ads on your site. So when people click on them, this is a, a super popular uh, product, the smoothie diet. Okay, so again, let's go take a look at that. If someone decides, hey, this sounds interesting, drinking smoothies and losing weight, well, a little, you know, lower, $30 per conversion, but 257 gravity. And these are, you know, good, long, evergreen products that uh, you can have on your site, okay? Um, now, I use the Ad Inserter plugin um, to rotate these ads. Um, the, the plugin that I use does rotate them automatically. So let's go inside this website's dashboard and take a look at how you use this plugin. So it's a standard WordPress plugin. You upload it like you would any plugin. Uh, you know, so you upload it, activate it. Once it's activated, then you go down into settings. The plugin is called WP Stealth Ads. And so this is where you create your settings. Uh, it is a paid plugin, so you have to, you know, have a light, uh, activate your license. There's a pro version. Uh, you didn't necessarily need that, but then you can choose everything that goes into, you know, the native ad, okay, uh, and that's where you're going to choose that in the settings. So the font family, the size of the font, the color of the font, the ad width, the ad height, and the text height. And so as you adjust these, it changes in real time down here. And when you're ready, then you just hit click changes. It also provides you with the short code. And so you can take this short code and you can put it into something like Add Inserter, um, and then you can in Add Inserter, it'll t you can tell it where you want to place those native ads. Okay, um, real quick, let me just show you how to do that. If we're going to go over to Add Inserter, and so uh, this Add Inserter is a free plugin. So this is my advertising spot number two. So here's the short code from WP Stealth Ads. And I, I am telling Ad Inserter, I want this to go on all my posts after paragraph 3 and 8, okay? And so it'll put native ads into the post, right? Here's paragraph 1, 2. Well, they're counting, actually, the uh, banner ad is paragraph 1. So second paragraph, third paragraph, and so there it is. Uh, I don't think there's eight paragraphs here, and that's why we're not seeing another one. Uh, but you can adjust that to show up as much as you want. You can put that short code in the... Uh, you can actually... Uh, it has an option to add it to the widget area in your right sidebar as well. But let's go through and look how to create an ad. Uh, super simple. You just click Add Stealth Ad. And you give it a title. So we'll just call this Test. I usually just call it the name of the, the product. And then here's how you configure it. So you just put up your text. You know, uh, must see... Um, you know, whatever, new, uh, whatever, yeah, I'm just doing something quick, new weight loss miracle, go here, okay, so type whatever you want, 
This is where you put your affiliate link, okay? And then what you can do is you can um, mm -hmm. make a custom URL. So when people, like for example, I don't usually do this, but this is an option, right? So when you click over this, let me pull this down so you can see what I'm talking about. When you click over this native ad, look down over here on the bottom left, okay? You can see that it's kind of just this long affiliate link to ClickBank. And so people maybe they don't want to click on that. But what if you change you what you can do in the plugin is you can add a display URL so when they hover over this, what they see in the bottom left is whatever you put in that display URL. Okay, so it may make it look more legitimate. Again, kind of like you see here, right? Uh, they they put the, they put it up right here, but instead it would show um, when they hover over it as a display URL. And you can make this really almost anything you want because it's just you know it's it's just a um, whatever uh, it's just showing them, but it's not uh, it's going to hide that kind of a long ugly affiliate link that you put on here. And then you just need to pick an image so you can, you know, browse through uh, anything in your media library, upload it, etc. And then um, let me just, I guess, pick one here. Uh, let's just choose that. And then, you know, it'll give you a preview of what this is going to look like. Okay. And then you save it and that's it. Obviously, I'm not going to save this one. Um, but if we go back to all the ads I have in here, you can see all these different ClickBank products I have. Because when I have people come to my site, I want them to see these, and I want them to click on these, and then I want them to be taken to high converting, high commission payout ClickBank products. Okay, that's what I want them to see from these ads. Now, every time uh, they open up, these are gonna rotate, so they're not gonna see these same three ads every time, or the same ads in the right sidebar. So these will rotate every time they go to a new page. So let's say, for example, you know, they finish reading this, now they say, oh, now I want to read about this. And so when they open this up, you'll see these are different now. And these are different. Now they might be, you know, the same a couple times. So the more you have in there, the more chances they're going to rotate. But every time a new page is opened, you're going to have new ads on the right and in the middle. Uh, oh, I used the image for the same ad, so be careful not to do that. <laughs> These are two different ads, actually, uh, but it is using the same image, so just be careful of that. So this is called, uh, let me go and show you. <clears throat> um, this is called WP Stealth Ads. This is the sales page. I'll put a link in the description. So if you want to come here, you can watch the video, and it'll show you how to, basically what I just showed you, how to set this up, how different websites use it, how you can use it. And you and just remember, you can send these ads anywhere, okay? So you can I send them usually to ClickBank offers, but you can send them to email opt-in pages, you can send them to other content on your site. You're not restricted, okay? Uh, where you send them and not just, again, trying to make pennies from Outbrain and other type of ad services, you can make actually some really big commissions, okay? Uh, and again, they're designed to get the click-through rate, make more money. Um, again, this is that masking that I told you about, so you can hide the um, affiliate link and uh, works with any WordPress website. So uh, you can get a single license, single site license, 27, unlimited site license, so you can use that all your sites, okay? Uh, it is mobile installs. Uh, um, Responsive, automatic updates, unlimited support, uh, pretty good deal. $28 put on all your sites. So hope you found this helpful. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll hope to provide more helpful information like this in the future.